Assalamu alaikum everybody. It's that time of year. It's Christmas, uh, Christmas season. Um, unless you're Muslim and it's still Christmas season but you're not supposed to celebrate it or maybe you are. I know lots who do, lots who don't. Um, and here's what I have to say. So, Christmas to me is everything it is in the movies. Whether it's true or not, it's a season of giving, of loving, of family. Your family does not have to be biological, so there's no excuse to prevent this, uh, to prevent you from feeling this way. And I see people, even Christian people, who don't understand uh, the value of Christmas. So, of course, especially Muslims who've never celebrated Christmas or come from broken families that did celebrate Christmas don't understand it the way I do. But to me, Christmas is about that loving um, and family get together feeling. So I've always loved the season from Thanksgiving to Christmas where we spend time as a family together and we think about other people and we plan things and I love that feeling and I don't have that with Eid because I didn't grow up in a Muslim family and as a matter of fact except for every once in a while when my significant other visits me I spend it alone and so Eid is not a big celebration for me um, as an American I grew up around Christmas uh, of course, as a Muslim, I, uh, I respect Jesus too. Jesus is one of our prophets. So, celebrating Jesus isn't a wrong thing. Um, when you first become a Muslim, you think everything is black and white. Um, you can do these things, you can't do these things. You can't celebrate Christmas. You can't wear nail polish. You can't do this. You can't do that. And you can develop, after you turn to Islam as a convert, you can continue to develop and read and grow and find out things or you can become the Haram police which is unfortunately really common for people. Uh, Haram police are those people, even people who grew up in a Muslim environment who never bother to read and study and know that what they're saying is not true. There is no black and white. You can say it a million times to me. Um, you can tell me to read this, read that and I'll just let you know, no. There is no... There, there's no reason for you to be the wrong place to everybody. Um, those of you who tell people they must wear hijab as if uh, no Muslim woman has ever read the Quran. Those of you who believe celebrating Christmas is haram or Thanksgiving or any other holiday besides a Muslim holiday. Um, even though I might add in many Muslim countries they do celebrate holidays such as Diwali. Um, so it, it's not just Christmas. Also, obviously in India they celebrate Indian holidays uh, in America we celebrate American holidays and I know some people say you have to have the religious significance to them but if it's all about love and giving and family to you to me it's go with it why should you take this part of yourself why should you take this part of you away from your family so cut and dry as a Muslim I, I I can't say I celebrate Christmas, I celebrate it to um, an extent. I am a teacher for children learning English and they also want to learn American cultures. So part of my job is to teach them about Christmas. And I don't see a problem with that. History teachers teach history of, uh, you know, World War II. That doesn't mean they're in league with, you know, Hitler, right? Uh, things, um, that's, that's a history, that's culture, I'm teaching them something. And that's how I used to think of it at first, but like last year I know I did a bunch of Christmas things. This year I went crazy for my students. Uh, I have gingerbread houses and gingerbread cookies and uh, pre small presents for every one of 83 children. I think I have 84 now actually. 84 children have got presents for me right now. Um, I teach them Christmas songs. Um, so no, at home I don't have a Christmas tree and Christmas decorations and I don't celebrate it. It's not my holiday. And it's not a Chinese holiday, so why celebrate it in China at all? But, um, you know, oh, and I might add, for the past three days, I've watched probably 30 Hallmark Channel uh, Christmas. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing, right? I've watched so many Hallmark Channel Christmas specials, which I love. They're cheesy, predictable, completely clean. They're never going to be, you know. I did see alcohol in like two out of the 30. Um, so apparently some TV producers think it's okay to drink in a Christmas movie, but in general, um, actually 
for Muslim families, even it's it's good, clean fun. Um, some of them are a little more religious than others. You know, most of them are not religious, right? They're just Santa giving, uh, finding your true love. <laughs> you know, the same show over and over and over. Uh, but they're cute, and they're touching and heartwarming and all those things. And of course, uh, sell you on the spirit of Christmas. Um, my favorite growing up has always been The Grinch. Uh, not the uh, Jim Carrey remake, the actual story of The Grinch by Dr. Seuss and the old Dr. Seuss because I I am that naive, simple person. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm the adult Betty Lou Who <laughs> as far as Christmas goes. I just want Christmas to be about being with your family and friends and singing and all those things. And I can't give all that up and I can't feel that it's wrong or haram. Um, we love Jesus too as Muslims and we all have heard the story a million times that Christmas isn't even a Christian holiday and in the end I don't care because I feel like I read more, I research more um, than a lot of people and I can't find where this is wrong and it is similar to those people who celebrate Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him's birthday uh, which a a large portion of the uh, Muslim population feels is haram. Um, but we're not celebrating them as gods by celebrating their birthday. Um, we're just finding a reason to celebrate our family. And this is just so important to me and with my family in another country, literally the other side of the world. Um, I don't think I'm digging a hole to America anytime soon. So um, the best way is this. Um, to send them gifts and to talk with them and to tell them how much I love them. And yes, as a Muslim or um, Christian scientist or Jehovah Witness, you might believe you can't celebrate Christmas with them, and that's fine. And you might believe that you're supposed to do this all the time, honor your father and mother, right? That's a big, big thing for us Muslims, honor your father and mother. Um, it's a big thing. It should be a big thing for Christians. It's in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Um, but I, I feel like we put more emphasis on it, that um, it, it, is, it is one of our main tenets, right? Um, that, we should, um, that we should obey our father and mother. So it's really important to me if my parents celebrate Christmas and I don't see or hear from them the rest of the year, what they give me or what they say to me or do with me is precious to me as a Muslim. So maybe being... Um, a Muslims help me appreciate a little better um, the spirit of the season and um, I know uh, some people would disagree and you can't really change my mind by disagreeing I've learned um, I also can't change your mind by what I'm saying if you're that kind of person and I'm not trying to change anybody's mind I'm just saying sometimes it's okay I mean and there are good reasons to celebrate Christmas and I love Christmas, and of course I'm. There, there's lines like you should probably, you know, should not be singing, uh, you know, Christ is risen or whatever. But I mean, um, in general, what Christmas is about is good for all of us. We can all learn something. So that's my Muslim Christmas point of view, guys. Thank you for listening. Bye.